Hello everyone, this is Santesh Kalada. So today in this video, I'll show you how you can create custom reports using N8 and Google Documents. So for the sake of this tutorial, I have just created a sample Google document here, basically an offer letter. And I have values like this. There is name, position, monthly salary, joining date. All these values would be dynamically replaced by an N8 automation. So this is something you can actually sell to clients. Okay, you can just build a front end for this and sell to clients. And in the back end, you can replace all the values like this. So let me just quickly show you how this is done. So I have already prepared the automation. So I'll explain it one by one. So we have a trigger here, which is a form node. So in the form node, I have added, see here, I have added a name, position, monthly salary, and joining date. See, we have name, position, use the exact same field name in your Google documents here. Otherwise, the automation won't work. So, and please make sure that you're renaming. See, I have created this automation in such a way that it expects the same names. Okay. For example, if you have just created a random form, for example, let's say you have created a form like this. See, your form would be having a name like this. So, make sure that you're renaming your form to just something known as form okay. so that is done and next step is a google drive integration so i'm hoping that all of you would already have google drive integration done if not i'll provide you a link which will show you how you can integrate your google drive with your n8 okay so once you have that google drive connected all you have to do is see you just have to click here then click on google drive and here you have an option called copy a file just click on that copy a file and here see if you have already connected your automation make sure that you are selecting the automation and from the file you can search for your file in my case i already have something known as offer letter in my google drive so i'll just search for it see i have it so i can just select that and that's it so in my case i'm not creating it again since it is already created here once you're duplicating a file, you have an option here to give what should be the duplicated file's name. So make to make each file unique, what I have done here is that, see, from my form, I will be getting the name. So that name, I have just dragged and dropped it here, okay? So that it will be, it will be named in this particular format, the name of the candidate and offer letter. So that is what is done in that particular step. In the next both this step, basically what we are doing is we are actually using some code to optimize it to be sent to Google Docs API. Since a Natan does not have a native integration which will replace the values in Google Docs, we are doing this step. See this particular automation, it would be available for free to download from my school community. And please note that my school community is absolutely free to join. You can just join in the community and you can download this. Let me just quickly show you my school community as well so that it would make it easier for you. Okay, here is my school community and see, you can just go to the school community and search for the title of this video. Okay, once you search for the title of this video, you will be able to see that particular automation. Here is one of the examples for whatever automation I am creating in my YouTube channel, it will be available for free in my school community. See here, it's available for download. here. You can just download it. Anyway, coming back to our tutorial. So this format form data and format form data for Google Docs, make it constant. It's basically a code node. I'll show you the exact code as well. So anyway, you can download this template for free. This is the code, okay? And here, make sure that you are using the form here, okay? This automation would work only if your first step is named as form. If you have renamed it as something else, just give that particular name here. Next, formatting data for Google Docs API. Again, it's a code note. So see here, format form data. This is our previous note. And it is getting it and it will provide output in the same format, okay? In this particular format. So this particular part, I, I don't think so you have to understand. It's basically a code note and we'll be sending it to an HTTP request. See, replace data in Google Docs. In this particular step, what we have is see, we are basically getting that Google document and replacing the values. And here, as for credential types, just search 
Google here put it as Google Docs or to API and here just select your Google Docs account and in the body everything is the same you can just leave everything as it is and the next step is download and convert to PDF because see even after creating I don't want my output to be in a document format I need it as a PDF so what I am doing is I am just downloading that file and here google file conversion option i am using everything see it's a very simple note see just search for drive you have an option here called download file this is the thing i'm using okay and from list instead of from list i'll make it as from id and give that particular id of my file google docs file and here google file conversion just add it that's it okay and there is an extra note yeah and the next step would be again yeah. next step would be just uploading this file into google drive okay so in the previous step we have created the offer letter so we are just uploading it into google docs so that we get it as a pdf so let me just quickly run this and show you how it works sorry it's not opening the pop-up anyway that's okay i'll just copy this url and i'll click on test step and here this is the form i'll type randomly lance seo specialist monthly salary i'll give it as fifty thousand and here a joining date that is a calendar entry yeah so everything looks good and i'll click on submit button the form has been submitted and see here we have received the data here so since it is in the test mode it hasn't run the complete automation so what i'll do is i'll just pin this and let me just test this work i'll click on test so it's copying the file replacing the data in google docs and it has uploaded to google drive so what i'm going to do is let me just quickly open the file and see how it works. this is the web view link so i'll just open it here see here now you have the perfect offer letter created you the name got replaced the job title got replaced salary got replaced and the date of joining also got replaced so all the values got dynamically replaced so i guess you found this automation useful so if you have any concerns or if you have any doubts please drop them in the comments below and i'll be happy to clear it for you so i look forward to seeing you in another video thank you guys i hope you found this video useful so if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you want to get this automation completely free, please join my school community. It's called AI Growth Tribe. I have given the link in the description below and you'll be able to get this entire workflow completely free. And please note that this community is absolutely free to join. If you do not want to go through this hard work and create this automation by yourself, you can hire me. I will create this automation for you and I'll make the customizations as required. So if you want to hire me as well, I have given a link in the description below so you can just make an inquiry there and my team will personally get in touch with you. So I hope to see you in the future videos. Thank you and have a great day.